another episode of your technology questions answered. I'm your host, Steve Smith, aka Z Axis, and yes, you may call me that. We are May 29th, 2011, episode 35, talking about disabling Unity in Ubuntu 11.04. I'm going to show you two tricks how to disable Unity from your session in Ubuntu. Both take less than 30 seconds, both of them are are very easy to implement so let's get on to a few other topics just before we hit on to this one one I'm gonna start introducing something called a panic trick the panic trick will get you out of a lot of trouble so while today I'm explaining to you how to get rid of unity in the Ubuntu 11.04 platform there is bound to be somebody who's going to try to delete it from the operating system but what do you do if you log into Ubuntu Unity without the Unity software integrated into the operating system. That's what the panic trick is all about. I'm also going to be asking you right now, everybody that hasn't done so as of yet, please head over to my website at www.zedaxis.net. And as a part of getting to know everybody that listens to my show, fill out the listener survey included in the podcast bookmark it takes five minutes and you can do it anonymously this will allow me to know how to make my show better for every single person and even introduce better more interesting topics according to results I get from this survey please remember you can do this anonymously thank you all in advance so let's talk about two tricks that you can use to disable unity one is I'm gonna call session specific this is because you can do it from the login screen and you can change it every single time one day you decide you want to use Ubuntu Classic and the next day you want to use Ubuntu Unity you can do this from the login interface you don't need to do the other trick the other trick I'm gonna show you is how to permanently log into the Ubuntu Classic interface so if you log in manually or automatically it will always load into the Ubuntu classic method first and always that way unless you decide to change it in the future this is the screen you get when you log in at the bottom you've got three options the third option allows you to select which profile you want to use just click on your username click which profile you want to use enter your password then click OK now you're actually logging in to Ubuntu 11.04 using the Ubuntu classic method of navigation now folks you're gonna have to restart for this to work but click system administration login screen you will have to unlock it so click the unlock button which will ask you for your password type it in then click authenticate all you need to do is select Ubuntu Classic. You can log in, change a whole bunch of login information, but just click the Ubuntu Classic as a default session, then click close. Next time you restart, you'll be in Ubuntu Classic every single time, unless you change it in the future, obviously. That was the session specific trick, and that was also the future session specific trick that I want you all to use when you do not want to be using Unity in Ubuntu 11.04. Remember, that's all I want you to do. There are other ways of getting rid of the Unity toolbar on the side of the screen, but if you do, you might screw up the screen. So, I uninstalled Unity instead of disabling it. What can I do to get it back? Here's the panic trick, people. What do you do when you actually do not follow what I just told you? Go into the software solution of Ubuntu and actually delete it from Ubuntu, having no interface whatsoever to navigate with when you head onto your desktop the next time. There is a way of getting it back. Here is the trick. You will press the buttons on your keyboard control, alternate the T button. This will load the terminal on your screen. The next thing you'll have to do is type the following command, which you'll see on the bottom of my screen, into the terminal. So sudo sudo. Then you have to type in apt apt dash get space install 
Space Unity, U-N-I-T-Y. That's for those who are listening to the audio version. That is the command you need to type in. You will press enter. It will ask you for a pseudo password. The pseudo password is your administrative password. You enter that, you let it uninstall. What is the next thing you need to do in order to get the Unity toolbars and all that interface to come back? Just the standard control alternate deletes. If you can't get that one, I don't know what you're doing on Windows, Linux, and Macintosh. That is a default trick that is now actually on all platforms. Now, if you want to sponsor the show, there are two ways of doing so. You've got PayPal and you've got our gear and apparel. Now, how do you get all the information you need to donate or get your unique gear and apparel that you can keep for yourself and gift away? www.zedaxis.net on the bottom of the first page that you will see are six icons up to date that are links to each of the stores on Cafe Press where we make unique icons for t-shirts, sweatshirts, mouse pads, clocks, anything. Just head on over to the stores. Now, what happens if you want something and it's not there? That's very simple. I'll do any custom work anybody asks for. So head over to the Contact Us page and use the General Inquiry option in the contact form to tell me what you want on your t-shirt and or merchandise and I will just make it for you. Then I'll open it up on the front page and I'll make it accessible to every single other person. Now, the other way is by sending it by PayPal. Any amount you want. You can send a quarter if you want, a dollar, anything you want whatsoever. The address is tqa at zaxis.net, and the information is actually on the podcast page. So, I'd like to thank you for all listening to this week's podcast episode on how to disable Unity in Ubuntu 11.04. For the love of everything logic, do not uninstall the software, just disable it from the interface. Don't forget to subscribe, and next week I'll be talking about Docky and how to make your computer feel more like a Macintosh and a little less like Windows. So, don't forget to subscribe. Come back on June 5th, 2011, when I put out the new episode. Stay safe and online, and have yourself a great weekend. And, uh... Just a hint for all you Macintosh users out there listening right now. Do not, under any circumstance, install the antivirus software that comes in the pop-up picture that you will get, maybe, if you're not so lucky, because a lot of you Macintosh users have been getting infected lately. So if you have a Mac Defender or Apple Defender pop-up that shows up, do not install, do not put in your password, and do not put in your credit card, because Apple will not help you remove that virus. If you need help removing that virus, just email me. Have a great day. Thank you.